Hey guys, Slightly Drunk Gaming here, and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about The Division 2, where it's going as a franchise, things I'm excited about, things that I saw that make me a little bit nervous. So just a quick little background here. We started playing Division 2 as a squad, Candy Sweet, System, and Bacon and I, when it pretty much came out. And we slugged through what the Division 1 was in all of its broken glory from, like, day one. And that included wonderful things like Candy Sweet and I walking into a subway one day, and she sits there and she says, well, gee, the floor is black. And I said, what are you talking about, the floor is black? Because it was all filled in on my screen. And she says, no, no, the floor is black. I said, what are you talking about? And sure enough, she takes a couple of steps forward and poof, she drops through the floor, she disappears, and she falls forever. And I sat there and I realized, I was like, holy shit, this is an early access game that's broke AF. And so I'm really hoping that what we get in the Division 2, at least at the start, is not what we got in the Division 1 at the start. I'm hoping that they learned from some of their mistakes. I'm hoping that they learned from the arduous process that it took them, gosh, until 1.8, 1.81 to, to really hammer out and to get good. The Division 1, as it stands right now, is in great shape and it's a phenomenal game. But, you know, you really lose a big chunk of your player base when you come right out the gate and you burn a lot of people okay. like that. Now, there's a lot of hype for it. Everybody's excited. It's a beautiful game. The gameplay looks solid. It looks like it's fun and engaging. It looks like they're really leaning on that end game content where you finish the Division 1 and you realized, oh my gosh, all I've got are raids. There were the incursions. There was some other stuff. But for the most part, once you hit level 30 until they started dropping gear sets to grind for and stuff like that, there wasn't really a whole lot to do. And I'm also hoping that they fix from the get-go the enemy difficulty. I know everybody's harping on bullet sponges and stuff like that, but one of the things that Diablo does pretty darn well is even though the enemies get more and more tanky with each level of difficulty that you add on top of things, at no point do you feel like you're just slogging through the same stuff over and over again the way the enemies are varied i understand it's a setting thing and there's not a whole lot that they can do in this particular setting but you know they could have done some other things even the heavies i mean the heavies were interesting but just hitting them in the backpack to get their backpacks to pop i mean they could have done they could have done that with a lot of different enemies love the cleaners you know tactically taking out a cleaner's you know fuel tanks to try and sort of save yourself i mean that's a nice thing but outside of the cleaners and the heavies you know can you really think of any enemy types that you have to actually sort of like think about where you're shooting them now this guy right here in the background he's a great example of that you know right there boom hit the grenade pouches boom and then the, the heavy character that they're fighting, you know, he has some destructible armor on. That's great. I, I think, okay, it's all right if you have a targeted piece you have to hit to then open up that enemy to damage. I'm, I'm okay with that. I cannot stand, and I cannot emph emphasize this enough, how annoying it is that as a game mechanic, you have a boss in your current game that goes invulnerable practically invulnerable for a few seconds at a time and is flashing red and runs around and can one shot you and can waste you and can do things like that seriously as as a as a design how how did you get to that point you had to make the boss in immune to damage i mean okay check yourself before you wreck yourself but this, I mean, this is nice. Okay, you hit the little weak spot, exposes his arm. All of a sudden, he goes from being invulnerable to now you can just damage him with regular weapons. They pop their skills. You go out. I mean, it looks good. It looks like if you could see more enemies sort of like this guy, that'd be exciting. Even if it's just 
even if it's just, I don't know, one or two heavies like that per faction. And I'm hoping they bring back factions, but it doesn't seem like from at least this little beginning trailer that you're going to see a whole lot of different factions. I actually thought the factions were sort of neat. It provided a little bit of variety as the spice of life kind of thing. Um, weapon variety. They really got that down. The weapon mods. I mean, I was okay with grinding for some mods. Other mods were just a royal pain in the butt. Everybody's sitting there saying that they're concerned about the setting. I like it. New York, as pretty as it was, and it was gorgeous, sort of just got dull after a while. The different colors, being outside, the sunshine, the spring or summer or whatever it is, summer in Washington. I think it'll be a nice change of pace. And they could even, if they felt like it, incorporate some other things where they sit there and they do like seasons. But anyways, guys, I want to hear your thoughts. Leave a drop. Like a comment. Subscribe for more. Cheers.